What up everybody, welcome to the channel Dan Cool. In today's video, I'm going to dedicate this video just to explain or even enhance any confusion in regard to installing this water block which is the ex Extreme Gaming from Big Ski. And as you may already know from the previous video that I posted, uh, I did not actually explain such small details for that video because it's taking just way too long so this is going to be a step-by-step -step guide on how to install your graphics card in particular which is the extreme edition onto the water block from big ski and i'm going to clarify any confusion as possible from this video and i'm going to show you with a commentary of course on how to install this gra graphics card water block in a proper way so this is it please keep in mind that I do not bear any responsibility for any damage that occur to your hardware as you are installing your water block the first item that you must have is a clean cloth why do you need this? Well, it's to reduce any residues left in your hardware as you are cleaning your graphics card. The second item that you must have is an isopropyl alcohol and I do strongly recommend to get them from any warehouse store near your location. And lastly, the very important piece for this guide is to have a GTX 1080 Extreme Edition from Gigabyte and a big ski water block for the Extreme Edition. I'm not sure about the current PCB that you have for this water block. However, I only test this water block on the 1080 Extreme Revolution 1.0 and it might or might not be compatible for a newer Revolution GPU since the seller has used the same version as well. If we start disassembling the GPU, there are at least 7 screws that you must take out from the GPU in order to proceed installing the water block to the GPU. After removing all 7 of them, do please keep in mind to place one screw aside into sealed plastic packaging since the water block that Biscuit provide only supports up to 6 screws. The fan header removal can be the trickiest process since they are very fragile and you might be ending up pulling or even ripping out the whole connector out from the GPU as it's being removed. If you are still struggling like I am, try lifting it up and gently tilting it away from the GPU. When verifying the water block's compatibility for this GPU water block, you might also place the water block gently above the GPU as this can ensure the product's compatibility as well as there isn't any gap present within the chips that the water block is covering. From there let's take out the water block after verifying and put it aside. Afterwards you might as well want to verify that the content that your water block comes with actually do come with a thermal pads because you're going to need it and start measuring up the desired cutout length for your PCB. Due to the thermal pad shortage that you have from the water block, you are eventually required to purchase an additional amount of water block thermal pads from either Aliexpress or even eBay which is going to be 1mm thickness 1.5mm thermal pads is the absolute maximum if you decided to go beyond 1mm thickness and I strongly recommend to use them only for the power phase chips which are located at the right hand of the GPU PCB ok for anyone that are confused right now we are actually installing the thermal pads on the memory chips which are 8 of them and you must measure or even uh, make your own predictions when you cut these um, thermal pads in your own length you have to ensure that these thermal pads have a direct contact to the memory chips as you gently place them and push them down just to ensure that it has that direct contact on these chips okay if you actually take a look at the graphics card 
these are where you must place your thermal pads into your memory chips however before you want to place all those cat out thermal pads into your GPU you must ensure that you use the microfiber cloth to clean it off from the memory chips as well as the GPU die itself by doing this you potentially remove any dust or even residue left on your graphics card which can overheat your graphics card and even shorten it out as you are cleaning your graphics card please ensure to spray the isopropyl alcohol directly to the microfiber cloth that you have in hand and I strongly suggest not to spray them directly to the PCB because it definitely can shorten out the memory chips or even transistors that it has. Remember to measure the appropriate length of the thermal pads that you are going to place onto the thermal face chokes and chips. Okay, in this recording, since I was out of the thermal pads, I decided to use the 1.5 millimeters onto the chokes, which are the gray transistors placed in the middle of the PCB between the three long transistors. Due to this thickness, you might as well add an extra pressure when you want to place the water block on top of the graphics card. Please keep in mind that off camera I have assembled and disassembled this graphics card for more than 3 times, re ensuring that all chips have a direct contact that includes the C GPU die, ensuring the the GPU have all contacts in place and they are indeed ready to be installed on the PC. Ok and this last segment of this installation video I'm just going to skip and show you the last 4 chips that you must cover with the thermal pads Those are the last 2 chokes on the light, right hand side of the graphics card and a small I believe it's memory chips I'm not sure but I'm sure they are the memory chips which are placed right slightly on the left hand side of the blue transistor once you are done doing all these given steps what you want to do now is to reapply the thermal paste back to the GPU die if you haven't already I do recommend to use the P method for this reapplication this due to the spreadness as you are gently pushing down the water block as it spreads equally across the die itself and it dissipates a lot more heat since you are basically removing all the air out of the graphics card die into the sides and spreading it, it please be sensible as you're applying the thermal paste to the GPU die do not let me repeat do not excessively place a crap ton of thermal paste onto your GPU die since it will spread all of the place covering what not need to be covered which is the transistors and it will eventually increase the GPU die temperature and this aim of this, G this GPU guide will be pointless and eventually it will leave you to a disappointment where you don't want to do water cooling anymore that's all to it to this guide there isn't much else to say I would really recommend you to do what I'm doing and please keep in mind that when you place back the screws you only require to place the six of them six of the screws except except the, the last small screw that you're going to place on the middle side well that's it really to this video I don't really have anything to say this water block works perfectly I would just would like to see that there is some improvements especially to, to the little things such as the guide a guide is an essential part of the installation for anyone to want to purchase this GPU because not everyone are experienced even I was an experienced this is my first time doing a GPU water block and I just do it I just use common sense guys common sense is basically the essential part of this installation guide try 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 your best to determine which one goes to which and you will eventually succeed you, you don't really need anything else to use other than screwdriver and your brain <laughs> that's it really 
and I am actually quite impressed with the performance I'm going to show you a benchmark not benchmark overclocking tutorial for this graphics card and what kind of performance you will get because I managed to bypass this current frequency that I'm having right now and it's gonna be phenomenal trust me it's gonna be phenomenal and you're gonna have to brace yourself seeing this type of performance so there isn't really much to say other than that and I would like to say that I hope you guys enjoy this kind of content if you do click that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe for more I will see you in the next thank you cool video and yes I have been so busy working on multiple projects I can't even do this video as fast as possible right now and I will see you in the next one peace Shh.